look a little bit ridiculous and try something weird. Like none of the circus arts make you look good <laughs> unless you're really good at them. With that in mind, I gave the silks a try, ready to see the world and the circus in a new way. That is so interesting. <laughs> yes, really yeah. cool. Have you guys been to a circus? I've been to a circus years back. Mm. It's been a minute. I rode an elephant at one. You did? Yeah, on TV. It was That's fun. fun. That was a great time. That's amazing. Very yeah. cool. So it's you have circus way. experience, so you're ready to join the circus. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I should be offended by this. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, yeah. it was what, actually really fun. At the beginning, you know, I asked, have you ever thought about running away and joining the circus? Has, is that something you've ever thought of? <laughs> you, know, you did think of that. I thought about that question. Yeah. I've never thought about it, but I did have one friend that I met through that interview who let me ride the elephant and he says that it just kind of happened you know he did it for fun on the side and then it became a career wow. and he has a really good career doing it well now so you can get an education doing it mm -hmm. and you're you're familiar with this yes i am <laughs> so the florida state university go knows the school that i went to go <laughs> we actually have a circus tent on our campus if i'm not mistaken it's one of two universities right. in the united states wow. that has the it's a massive circus tent this That's is not awesome. a small this is a large yellow and okay. maroon striped tent oh. permanently on our campus it's not like flimsy it's it's real and it stays there yeah. forever mm -hmm. and you can actually get degrees and take classes regarding uh circus that's so cool yeah. so i have a couple of friends that took the classes for yeah. fun they weren't actually and then i actually have one friend these are both meteorologists by the way okay i have one friend who was involved uh with me on tv with our fsu weather program oh, and she wow. also did a uh, perform at the circus and so cool so we don't have animals or anything like that right this yeah. is all people doing yeah. um, the tricks yeah. acrobatics flips Beautiful. you know balancing on different sorts of things so oh, wow. very cool very unique so cool <laughs> i want to learn how to juggle yeah i know you were yeah. talking about that adam <laughs> you're like i can do too I, I, yeah i cannot <laughs> juggle do you think you guys would have taken an uh, acrobat class if you could no you're hanging from things mm -hmm. I, no i saw that girl in the video i yeah. cannot do that yeah i can't even do half of that <laughs> <laughs> would nope. you try it out maybe yeah i don't know i didn't i never took a, a class it didn't interest me enough yeah. but I don't know, maybe I should have. I mean, seeing wow. this story made me, it's cool. it looks very interesting. Yes, it looks is. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, your time now is 6 a.m. Thanks for sticking with us here on NBC 23. I'm Adam Cartona. I'm meteorologist Jessica Kirk. And I'm your lifestyle host, Danielle Bonda. All right, Jessica, for people <laughs> heading out the door, what can they expect today? We finally have a different morning okay. than the last four mornings <laughs> in a row. It's <laughs> raining out there. Not a lot yet, but we're going to have those rain chances throughout the day. Right now, we're looking at calm conditions at our Edinburgh camera. Temperatures, though, are going down. I'm mean, keeping track of what it looks like across the board in the upper valley. Specifically, Roma has dropped at least uh, three or four degrees since we started the show. So about an hour ago. So we are starting to see these temperatures go down. Edinburgh's now a 66. McAllen's now a 69. But for our coastal areas, we're still in the mid 70s, starting to dip into the low 70s. Hopefully by the end of the show, we'll have a better picture of just how much cooler it's going to be throughout the rest of this afternoon. Check out those winds, you guys. These have picked up anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour since we began as well. Over on the coast, we're just starting to see those winds shift coming from the north following that cold front. And we're looking at 22 miles per hour for the upper valley. These are sustained winds. Wind gusts are upwards of 30 miles per hour here and there. We still have a little bit of rain on radar, mainly in Willisie County.